Ton of questions for you this morning. Uh, earlier this year in January, I tried asking you a question and you deflected. I'm going to start this interview off seeing what I can get. Uh, are you still involved in the Assassin's Creed thing? I am no longer involved in the Assassin's Creed thing. So was it be a difference of your version of what they wanted to do or? I, I think it was uh, it was a little bit of, of, a, of a move of executives from L.A. to London. And it, and it allowed the London group who had, unfortunately, you know, they had to inherit my vision of what it was. And instead of getting to develop their own vision. So I think that's fair. I think that, you know, um, I know it's going to be great whenever it comes out. I think the Ubisoft guys are fantastic. I think it's a terrific, you know, franchise. It was just a, a good mutual, you know, time to move on for for both sides. Hey, look, it's not like you're not busy, you know, it's, uh, <laughs> no. you know, um, so you've made now three seasons of Vikings. Um, which season ended up being the most challenging? Because I'm curious if it's season one when you're building the infrastructure or further along when you know what you can do and you're trying to push even further? Without a doubt, that's a great question. Uh, without a doubt, season one was hard for exactly the reason you said. You know, I felt like I was out there in the wilderness saying, we can do this. You know, we can take down London Bridge, you know, in on TV uh, and make it look like we just, you know, did a $40 million, you know, action set piece. Uh, I, 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 we can do this. We can break off from, you know, the, the Michael Hurst tree and stand alone as its own type of show. We can tell a show with a lot more action and suspense and, and many more characters and all of those type of things. That's hard when you're out there alone sometimes just saying, you know, it's going to work. It's going to work. It's going to be fun. It's going to be great. You know, trust me. You know, I hate the word trust me. You know, that's just bad. Uh, we got that behind us. Season two becomes a challenge because, okay, you did it in season one. What are you going to do for season two? That it's almost like doing a sequel. It's almost like, you know, it's, it's, it's got to be faithful to everything you did for season one. And yet it's got to be new and fresh and even better for season two. So you have to take risk when you do sequels and, and if you want them to be successful. Uh, I think we took some great risk in season two. So that made it harder. Um, you know, telling everybody, trust me, we can we can break up the band and it still it still will work. Uh, season three is uh, uh, it was hard just simply because it's you know, you're bringing everything back around again and you're topping season two and season one. So anyway, I can't answer that story other than or that question other than to say they're all hard, Steve. I mean, it's all <laughs> tough. Uh, so you filmed the first two seasons borderline back to back. Um, I'm not sure if there were, how much of a break there was, but with season three, you shot that on your own. And I am curious because the first season was such a hit. Was there any talk with Netflix about, hey, do you want to do three and four together? Or like we can only really get ready for season three if you want. You know what I mean? Like, did you ever discuss that possibility? We really talked about one, two and three as sort of a block. Um, and then uh, hopefully we could get to a four, five, and six, because the 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 story is, you know, I, I think you'll see when you see season two and season three, it's 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 almost like a novel. It it has these wonderful time, you know, time jumps and 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 growth in terms of particular characters, and you know, like a really big great novel, it's got it it's got a, a, a several understories, you know, that just that are holding things up that you don't really feel. They're like light motifs that you don't really see, but you suddenly feel them there. So I'm hoping we have the opportunity to complete that journey. Um, but I feel that um, I think one, two, and three. Um, you know, are 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 all standalones, all 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 good like that. I, you know, I'm 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 happy. I'm a happy guy. I'm you know I'm getting to tell a really cool story with lots of great action and great characters and a cast that I love working with and crews. What's there to you know complain about? Oh no, totally. So so you're saying that you think if the show gets to continue, the goal would be to try to shoot four, five, and six actually together. If we got a chance to do this and, and, you know, from, you know, your mouth to God's ear, 
Okay, if we got a chance to shoot this, yes, it, it, it's a continuation because the first part was thought of as a sort of a triptych. This, the second part should be thought of as well. Now, if I only got, you know, one season to go, I'll take it one at a time and do whatever I have to do. But the um, uh, it, these things are always better when you get to play on a large canvas. You know, it's it, 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 it's better. Does it actually impact the budgeting if you are actually going to shoot, hypothetically, if you were to shoot four, five, and six together, does that impact the budget where you save money because you're doing it all together versus doing, you know, season four, one at a time? It, it, you, there's no question that you can amortize, especially for a big action show like ours. If, if you can amortize across, a, you know, a season or across, you know, a season and a half, uh, which we we can and can't do, you know, with Valhalla. We you know each 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 season is its own company and that sort of thing. But we we think of it. Uh, we have we can use Cadigat. I can I know we'll be in Cadigat at in season three as well as season two as well as season one. So it's not like I'm I'm each year I'm having to build a, a separate piece. And yet I can build separate pieces to pop in, thinking that I've got a couple more seasons out there. Uh, I can think about costumes i can think about weaponry i mean you you know our armory is gigantic our our you know our fleet is gigantic you know so what boats will i need for season five i can start thinking about it in season four there's a lot of uh, a lot of that that would obviously help just from a financial situation so i spoke to you earlier this year in january for season one and i'm talking to you now with season two coming out in january you have filmed season three is the plan for January 2024 for season three, like is the plan for every January to release one? We we don't have any commitment at this point. We hope we we do, but we we don't at this point. We're we're still just starting to do the post-production on season three. So we've got a long throw as far as that's concerned. Um, I'm hoping that we, you know, I would love to get a pickup. We'd love to be, you know, continue this journey. If that, if we're lucky enough to have that happen, we'll be ready whenever we're ready. Sure. Uh, I got to stop already. I'm just going to say congrats. I would be really surprised if you're not making more seasons and good luck with the rest of your speed dating today. <laughs> Thanks, Steve.